In this project, I'd like to draw some circles and make a pattern that's similar to Johnson's circles or Johnson's theorem. He had an, this idea about how to overlap circles, and we're going to recreate that today. So we'll use a circle drawing tool. Our first circle is going to be red. We want these circles to be perfect, and we want the first three to be the same size. So I'll make this circle about, oh, just under half the size of my space. I'll put it off to one side because I want to copy it and paste it. So I'll use the select key, select icon. I'll select it, copy, paste, and the second one I want it to be, I want it to be blue. So I'll use the paint bucket. I'll choose dark blue. Remember, it's the tip of the drip that pours the paint. So now I have my blue circle. I'll select it and overlap. Now this is just a test. It's possible that when you overlap yours, you may not have had transparent selection turned on. I'll turn mine off so you'll see what happens. So use the list box below the select icon, turn on transparent selection so it'll overlap. Now I think I'm ready. With this selected, make sure I copied it. I did. I'm going to delete it because I want to move this red circle back in the center. So there it is. Now we'll paste some blue circles. I'll overlap my first one and I'll overlap my second one but here's where the rules apply. Wherever I overlap this I need to make the blue lines cross over only where the red is. In other words I need to make them intersect, intersect all at the same point. So now that they've done that I'll put in a third one and the third one, third one has to follow the same rules. The blue has to cross the red at the same point that the other blue lines did. Watch what happens as we line these up. What else did you notice? The middle of all of these blue circles, they intersect also. And that was Johnson's circles or Johnson's theorem. But wait, that's not all. We can also create another circle on the outside and see some other relationships. Let's do that with circle drawing tool and we'll make this um, we'll make this a green circle. And I'll hold once again the shift key because I want it to be a perfect circle. And I'll make it oh as big as all of those. And I can't guess exactly where it goes so I'm going to shift it move it and I didn't want it to be actually this perfect because I wanted to use the shift key and adjust it still there that way you can adjust it as well holding the shift key every time I adjust it I want it to just cover that blue line and I'm so close I'm gonna use the arrow key to be able to move it one little bit at a time there I like that so I'm gonna click away and now let's do some other things. So let's draw let's draw an orange line using the line drawing tool from what we think is this where the center of where these touch. That would be the tangent right here toward the center of this. I think I found the center. And we'll do it for all three. So this looks like the center here. We'll do our best and we'll check it in a moment because there's another another truth about this that we can compare and from the center of this all the way out this looks like the center there okay let's connect some lines that hook these centers up to each other and for this I'll use I'll use red and line drawing tool and I'll draw straight from here to here now did you notice what happened it just crossed into that intersection. In other words, where the three circles come together. Is it true for the other two? Let's find out. I'll draw from this intersection to here. So far, so good. And the last one from here to here. Now, to me, that's amazing. Uh, the only other thing to do is use the paint bucket and color in. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to label this. I'm going to call it Johnson circles.